Hi, I'm a disembodied voice, and I'm here to teach you how to take your druid game from drab to fab with character sheets, tokens, and rollable tables. Let's get started. Uh, you'll need a druid PC like I've got here in a beautiful vineyard. Let's just talk about the key issue. If I'm playing a druid and I go wild shape in roll 20, my DM's first solution is to probably upscale my current regular ass face to be just huge. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want druid to just be big. I want him to look like what he's becoming, which in this case will be an ox. And the same problem lies in, now when I just click on my token, I'm just, I'm just looking at the stats of big druid. Instead, what I want is the ability to pull up the ox's character stats. So what's our solution? All right, first, head on over to your compendium tab. If you're playing even on a free game, the compendium tab likely has a lot of beasts that your character intends to shapeshift into. So as you can see, I've sorted out in the compendium tab using the filter tool, any and all beasts that are CR1 or lower. Now that has left me with far too many options, so I'm just going to pick like three of them. Badger, Ox, and Crab. Click and drag. So if your token does come with an image, like if you're pulling it from Volo's guide, that's fine. Just go ahead and right click that one, go to copy token image URL, pull up a new tab, paste, and save this image. The ones that do not come with images, don't even bother with that step. What we've done by dragging them out here, is if we go over to our journal tab, where all characters and all that are stored, we will see that Badger, Crab, and Ox have been given their own character pages. So what we'll do is we'll go to each one of those, we will click these two tabs with our player's name to make sure that the druid will have access to those whenever they need them. Next, we're going to need to get all the images we'll be needing. So we'll go up to Badger and find an appropriate Badger image online. Once you've got your images, head on over to rolladvantage.com slash token stamp. Just come on up here, grab your border, and I prefer this one because it's nice and homogenous um, and samey and nothing may be unique or different in my world. The images we just pulled actually aren't for the character sheets that we have sitting blank right here. Instead, we're going to go up between the music tab and the settings wheel to go to the collection tab, I believe, macros and collection, and go down to rollable tables, click add, and just pick your new table out, should open up in the center. And we're going to add, in my case, four items. One for Druid's face, and the other three for his animals. And so now that we've got Drew and all of his various shape-shifting forms, we'll go ahead and save. And as opposed to the way we've been used to doing it throughout our campaign of going to the Characters tab and dragging Druid out, we're going to do things just a little bit differently. And instead, we're going to go up to this Collections tab, we're going to go down to Rollable Tables, and we'll go to the Druid table and click Token. It can be a bit hassling because you'll have to go in and set his lighting settings and everything like that, but in the long run, if you just keep copy-pasting this rollable Druid, you'll find things a lot easier. Now, if I want to change Druid, I just right-click him, I go to the multi-sided tab, and choose side. Now I can cycle through, but if I double-click him, it still pulls up Druid, I hear you saying very loudly right into my ears, please stop. So for this, it's easy-peasy, we double-click the token, we go up to Represents Character, swap it to Ox. And since Druid, the player, has permissions to look over the Ox's character sheet, when he holds Alt and double clicks over the Ox, ba-bam! Gore. V. Bush. The election was stolen. And then when he wants to go back, we'll just drag that slider all the way over. We'll shrink Drew down, a la Hulk. And we'll click Druid, save changes. Ba-bam, the Drew we know and love. I hope this has provided a easier method of playing a Druid player character in Roll20. I may do another tutorial on the Character Mancer, Roll20's only redeemable feature that keeps me coming back even though I'm in the process of switching to Foundry. I'll probably do tutorials for that too. Anyway, I'll make a video sometime in the next fiscal year.